All right. Here is the Mafex Batman from the Dark Knight and the Batpod from the Dark Knight by uh, Mattel. Mafex is released by Medicom and I don't remember what it stands for. This figure is super duper disappointing. I think mine is just a lemon because other people have said they're really happy with theirs. Mine is a floppy pile of junk. Um, he barely stands. He holds almost no poses. The joints, some of the joints are super stiff, like, I guess that's not super stiff, but that one there, it's snug enough that um, it never moves because this ball joint fitting into there is super loose. So that's always the joint that moves and then it just pops out. Um, <clears throat> oh, the bicep, that's the one. That one is super stiff. It turns, but to override the friction coefficient of that joint, you always end up just popping this right out of the socket long before you move the bicep. Um, it's got double elbows. It's got a good wrist. Lots of motion to it, range to it. The, ha the hands just peg on, which hasn't been an issue yet because they are snug enough. Um, both arms just pop right off. So loose, it's pathetic. He's got an upper torso joint of some kind. He's got a lower waist joint thingy. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but some of these joints leave a lot of big gaps. They're just not pretty. The joints themselves, the way they break up the sculpt is way more distracting than I expected. Um, this top part is softish rubber, soft rubberish, which feels strange since the, the other two pieces are very not soft rubber. Um, the hips, have an up and down thing like a lot of figure arts have. It's got to rotate there. Double knees. Um, some sort of um, ankle joint thing. Rather like figure arts as well. And the mid foot, which I like because it can look good for crouching poses. But again, this thing is floppy, floppy hell. I, I'm surprised actually that I was able to get it to stand up for the opening shot of this review. Um, he's also got a good expressive joint on the top of his neck and I, there's one at the bottom of the neck but it doesn't move as much. This is just a super disappointing figure. I mean just look at that. That's useful, right? It seems like the knees are usually pretty loose. This knee feels really tight. Maybe it was just the ankles that were loose. Maybe it's enough in the hips. I don't know. This guy needs some serious nail polish care to make him so I can not hate it every time I look at it. It is a mess. Yes, it's the ankles going forward and backward. They are just loose as hell. I, just, I can't get him into a pose that looks natural because everything is gapping really badly or falling off or falling over. And Considering this thing was uh, 40 or $50 from Big Bad Toy Store, I should have realized that I got a bad one and sent it back to them and asked for a new one. But I didn't. And so I've just thrown it in a corner and left it there for months and months and months and not touched it. Other than that, it looks really good. The sculpting on the head, on the armor is great. Let's see if we can't zoom in. Oh, it's so slow. Look at this belt really out of focus now, isn't it? I still haven't figured out how to use this stupid camera. Um, the belt detail is really good. I like it's got a little dealie and what's it on the back. And I just think it's not in focus at all, is it? Yeah, that seems to work. Um, anyway, I don't know what it is. Remote control, cell phone. Um, Anyway, lots of nice detail and silver, clean silver paint apps on top of the gold of the belt. There's a hole for a stand. Um, you know, there's 
little gray marks on the armor. There's some of the bodysuit underneath the armor plates. Um, it looks good. It's got a nice little scowling face. Um, Sculpt-wise, very pleased. I the cape is okay. I don't mind it. It looks it looks pretty okay. Um, but wow, mine at least is just a floppy mess, and it angers me. Overexposure. Thank you. Uh, what else does he come with? He comes with two punching things hands, also known as fists. There's little lines sculpted on the gloves. There's the pads on the knuckles. They look good. He's got two little grasping-ish hands. Or maybe that's batarang throwing hands. I was using them for gripping the handlebars of that. Or resting the handlebars roughly into his palm, so it looked like he was holding on to them. Um, and then he's got one gun holding hand, because he comes with a grappling gun, which looks pretty decent. It's got nice clean paint on it. It's nice and tiny, and I think it fits in his hand well. It seems like I've tried this before. Maybe I haven't because I was so angry that he was so loose and I couldn't do anything with him. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The joints are, e the, rather, the hands are really easy to swap because they're just straight pegs. There's no mushroom caps, there's no barbs, there's nothing. It just slides on. Eesh. So there's that. And then there's also his, what was this? Was this the bomb gun? That he used at the end of Dark Knight. I think that's what this was. Um, it does not move or do anything. It just it doesn't even it's got a teeny little bit of silver paint inside. Other than that it's completely black and a little bit boring. Uh, no batarangs, no actual grappling hooks. So accessories wise it could be better. Oh it comes with a stand a very very clear base with three peg holes an articulated arm with three joints and a little claw gee I don't know that just seems really familiar for some reason that reminds me of something oh look a Tamashi stage it's the same thing only made by Medicom um, I have not played with this yet I assume this plugs into his back like so, and then maybe it doesn't matter if he's completely floppy and loose and mess, because got to stand. Anyway, this figure angers me. Um, it angers me so much that when the Joker from The Dark Knight was put up for pre-order a few weeks ago, I ordered it. Um, when the Batpod and Catwoman go up for pre-order, and hopefully in the near future, I'm sure I will order them too. But this one I hate. Movie Master's Bat Pod. Um, I'm going to put him on there. And the joint the looseness of the joints might actually be a benefit here because I can move stuff around easily. Or perhaps the arms are just gonna fall off and I'm gonna drop them and scream in range. Rage. We'll see. I'll be back. Right, before before I go put it on the bat pod, I forgot one thing. Um, I was gonna do a little scale thing. If I could get this stupid son of a to stand up. Okay. Don't move. Here he is with the recent Marvel Legends um what's this guy's name? Winter Soldier from Captain America 2 the Winter Soldier. Who I have opened but have not actually messed with. I don't know if this guy even stands up either. What is with companies making toys that can't stand? You know, he's uh, of a good scale with each other. I guess you could have Batman beating up on your Marvel Legends if you wanted. At least the movie ones. If they're in scale with this one. Here is a figure arts. Since being both Japanese toys and having very similar articulation, this is what I 
This is what I thought I was getting when I ordered this, but it's not what I got. Here's Kamen Rider Gaim, who is from a show that I have not really watched yet, but that everybody loves, and he is a fantastic figure. And he's a bit shorter. I guess you could say Japanese people are shorter than Christian Bale, or Christian Bale is Batman's supposed to be really tall. And you could you could have them fighting each other if it would take more than that to knock him over, because his balance is terrible. Oh, hey, look, he's got cool sculpted boots. So, I guess he's more Marvel Legend size than figure art size. That would be good to know if this thing was worth a damn. And mine isn't. Alright, so here he is on the Movie Masters Bat Pod. And this is why I bought the Bat Pod this last week or two. Uh, to see if I could finally get some use out of this guy, because, well, he doesn't have to have tight joints to just lay on top of a bike, right? And he looks pretty good. He seems like he's pretty close to the right scale. Um, I think he fits on it right. Maybe he's supposed to be back a little bit. Maybe that's better. Um, anyway, he looks good, and he, he stays on pretty good, despite his looseness of the joints and um, I do not well let's see so I guess I can talk about the bat pod now this is pretty nice it's got soft rubber tires that free spin um, and that's the only articulation nothing else moves that I have been able to find out um, it looks nice it's some of the some of the structure is pretty simplistic and probably inaccurate, but it looks alright. Um, it would have been better if I'd have bought this when it was out in stores for whatever the retail price was. Seems like it was 30 <clears throat> rather than the 70 80-ish it tends to go for now on eBay. Um, but you know, I'm glad I got it, just in time to be reminded that Metacom is going to be releasing one to go along with their Mayfex Batman. Um, and I'm sure I will buy that one too because I'm going to buy the Mayfex Catwoman and she can go on one uh, this seems weird there's something a little screwy with the handlebars I'm not entirely sure what um, but as you can see Mayfex Batman stays on it pretty good considering how floppy his joints are he hangs on pretty good there we go now he came off um I do like the paintwork on this, the the silver brushed on the black or vice versa, however they did it, makes it look a little bit used and worn. Um, I <clears throat> I don't remember now exactly how much I paid for it. I think I got it for 60 So I'm okay with that price. I would not have liked to have paid, certainly would not have been super happy with it if I'd have paid more. That's what I was talking about. That sort of little structural stuff gets in the way of the arms, so they don't go quite in the way I think they're supposed to. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell this, since there's the Mafex one, and it's probably going to look better. And so that's that. Um, this figure is disappointing. The Bat Pod was about what I expected. So, hooray for that. Um, sure. Thanks for watching.